So, today we're once again gonna go through some um, cool guides. And I'm just seeing that he's having some problems, but I don't know why, now they're gone. Something else that I'm searching, but I'm not finding, are my, no, not there. Um, my, well, you know what? You know what? This should also be fine. You know, it should also kind of act as if I would have a pop filter or it would act as a pop filter. I hope that it is not loud as I'm sure, because it could be. I should probably search for it, but I actually don't wanna. Something else that I should be doing is closing the windows. And it is amazing that I just don't do anything. Never ever, quite all the fucking time before I start recording. It's insane. But yeah, anyway, um, we're gonna go through something very, uh, just uh, something we know, you know, something we just know, which is cool guides. And I have seen something, you know, the first few things is it is interesting and it is cool and it is good to know and stuff like that. But it is not just that of a necessary thing, I would say. Therefore, like, I don't know, how to grow 100 pounds of potatoes in four square feet. I mean, it is cool, I'm not gonna lie, I think it is a cool thing, but I do first of all doubt that it is gonna be 100 pounds, because this is really a lot, and, 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 and yeah. On the other hand, it is like, well, yeah, it's, it's cool, but um, I don't really care about it. Then there's nuts, and then there's something that we've already seen yesterday, or I have seen yesterday, and uh, something more interesting, which is full stop, which is apparently British English, but period is American English. Fortnite versus uh, two weeks, flat apartment film, movie, um, Father Christmas, Santa Claus, engaged, busy, CV, resume. Oh, <coughs> the funny thing is that, that my English is really a mixture out of all of them. Even though, as I'm just seeing, I, I do use quite a lot of American English words. Um, French fries, chips. Well, I, I would have said chips, I guess and crisps instead of chips. Um, but I would have also said CV in, instead of resume, but I would uh, have definitely said fall instead of autumn. And well, you know, cookie for me is really a cookie. It's, you know, cookie and biscuit for me is not the same quite. You know, if I think about biscuits, then I think about something different. And then yeah. And also Santa Claus was versus Father Christmas. I didn't actually never heard it. And handbag and purse, first floor, ground floor, all of that stuff. But this is the interesting thing, the interesting thing that I want to show you, which is uh, the Fuck Nestle subreddit. And yes, there is a subreddit called Fuck Nestle, or Nestle, I think it's Nestle, I guess, but I'm actually not quite sure. Thought you all should see this. And it is actually very interesting what amazingly big, um, giant thing this is, you know? Because if we think about it, and if we have a look at it, and we're gonna have a look at it in a bigger way, there it is. So if we have Nestle there, then uh, we obviously have Nescafe, which is something that we all uh, could have assumed, I guess. But then we're having Taster's Choice, Nespresso, Coffee Mate, um, then also Nesti, Pellegrino, Poland Spring, Vidal, Nestle, Pure Life. Okay, yeah, we can see that. But then completely different things like um, Nerds and Luffy Tuffy and, and Power... I didn't know that Power Bar is also just by them. It's amazing. Camerton, Chef Mate, Nesquik. Well, I think this is... What? They also have perfumes. Ralph Lauren, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Yves, I'm sorry, Giorgio Armani and Diesel. Fucking interesting. Purina, didn't know about that. Alpo, I don't know it, Felix, I see. But then also, which is something that's really interesting, we're having Garnier, we're having Vichy, we're having Maybelline, we're having Kiehl's, Umbrella, Biotherm, which are apparently part of L'Oreal, and they all are then just to 30%, I see, part of Nestle. And also just various other things like KitKat and other stuff, and Smarties, apparently. But I actually, I do have to say, you know, to really be honest, often they also say, okay, this is by Nestle, but I just don't care about it. You know, I just don't see it. But if you just see it as a, a picture like this, and I, by the way, have to check out this fuck Nestle um, Reddit there. Um, it's insane if you really have a picture of it and if you really see everything in a really big thingy thing. 
Uh, da, 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 a monopoly. Well, mm. and Wonka, by the way, this is something that I haven't uh, said. Even though Wonka is just something that is not available, I think, in Europe. At least I have never ever heard it and or seen it. Um, it could also be the case that it is just not available in Austria. There's just tons and tons and tons of things that are not available in Austria, at least not in just very, um, very big areas, I would say, you know, besides just obviously Vienna. They, it really is quite often the case that in Vienna you just really get a lot of things like, I think, KFC and stuff. And just in terms of food, in terms of restaurants, in terms of franchises, in terms of whatever, they often are in Vienna, but that's it for the just whole entire Austria. Which I think is understandable because, I mean, there's quite a lot of people in Vienna, living in Vienna and uh, surrounding areas. But yeah. Nestle Waters leaving Canada is a community success. The Council of Canadians. Nestle leaving the bottle water game in Canada. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on your way out. Fucking over Nestle has made me and my body better. Well, let me start to say that I'm a 22-year-old female who is obese but lost 20 pounds since boycotting Nestle. I hate these motherfuckers more than myself. <laughs> what the fuck? And then fucking uh, and then fucking over Nestle with my wallet, I help myself. I force myself to source foods locally. My dairy consumption has come down. My wallet is happier from my cravings. And so on and so on and so on and so on. But I do want to point out, why why, why do so many people hate Nestle? I mean, yes, it is a monopoly. And yes, it is a big thing. And yes, they might not be doing that many good things. And they surely probably are doing good things. But maybe it is like, you know, the balance between the good and the bad is just very, very not in balance. Uh, but, but yeah, of course, I mean, if we talk about Nestle, then we also have to talk about Mondelez. Fuck it, I think it's Mondelez, isn't it? I have actually looked it up. I have looked it up how to pronounce it. Then uh, we're also having Kellogg's. I didn't know that Kellogg's is so big because I thought that Kellogg's is part of just something else as well. Uh, then Ringley, which is part of Mars. Uh, Danone, Unilever, which is also very big. Coca-Cola, which is also pretty big, including actually not that many things, to be honest. Not that many things I know. Maybe Burn, the energy drink. Coca-Cola, obviously, is big by itself. But Nestle is actually having quite a lot of just very known things. Also, PepsiCo, they have quite a lot of things. Associated British foods. Yeah, I mean, I think it just... I think it is clear that there's always going to be some very big names and there's always going to be just some, some very small names in every field and there's always going to be a lot of um i don't know i mean like there's always going to be big names there's always going to be big things that's it this is what i want to say actually uh was a little naive to the reality of nestle and posted elsewhere how amusing i thought it was that the little people appear to be drowning someone shared this sub and now it feels a bit dark officially showing the fuck nestle movement well i don't know i mean this is by the way just some design choices that you could have thought about and could have thought of to just not do that and just do it somehow differently maybe just having a floor or something um but but i mean i mean design wise it just is cool but i don't know sometimes we have to think about things a little bit more two summers ago i went to a wedding and met a man who said he was a higher up at nestle he was never actually clear on his role for the record he did keep stressing that he was important worked uh, and worked at the co headquarters this was verified by the bridge and groom after the wedding when the guests went back to the hotel we met him in a bar uh, there and got talking we asked him what nestle was doing about the environmental impact they have uh, and what steps they have taken to pre reduce plastic in their water bowls and he waved his hands and said well nobody gets mad at the peanuts by the companies for using plastic and those are so bigger so i said i likely I likely use one jar of peanut butter in a year. What? I will likely use one jar of peanut So I said, okay, I just get it. I'm sorry. Actually, very interesting. Uh, so I said I use one jar of peanut in a year. Some people go through 10 water bowls a day. These are not the same thing. He also claimed not to know anything about Nestle stealing water to boil for profit. He just played dumb. I wouldn't necessarily say that he just played dumb. 
When, I mean, of course, uh, I am not in a position and I haven't talked to this person and whatnot, but I wouldn't necessarily say so. They are everywhere. Merch. Found my new favorite chocolate bar. Thanks, mom. And then this also by Nestle. Um, it is actually very interesting that there's such a lot of fucked up... Um, uh, what should I say? What did I want to say? Um, subreddits, yeah. So there's actually some 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 trending or popular. And there's some all Reddit public access network. Maybe let's, let's actually have a look at these things. Summers in England. This looks really dark. Well, that sucks. Let's actually have a look at this one. You know, because there's probably going to be a lot of things that people are pissed because of, and you know, they're not that bad. So this is my job. So my brother made a prank, quote unquote, and did this. So we don't have a key. <laughs> For the podcast listeners, <laughs> he took a lock and locked his fucking um, glasses in the middle where the, your uh, nose should be. So you, you can't remove it. There's no fucking way you can remove it. Um, it is fucked up. This is, um, yeah. Found the fire ants while I was mowing. This does not really look that nice. Very big bubbles. Roommate started a greasy fire. That's never cool. <laughs> Pay more attention. What better way to end your work day than a ceiling leak? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. This does not look very good. It looks like just, uh, it looks like a movie to be honest, you know? But it looks very strange, you know, the ceiling holding the water and, and just actually the ceiling looking like a plastic wrapper or wrapped plastic, you know, having your house wrapped in plastic. I don't know, could be. Well, at least one of them stayed dry. Dutch problems. Oh, this is actually, well, yeah, you know, there is not too many things to say. So I'm going to go back because this is also a podcast and, you know, it's a little bit dumb if I'm doing this. Uh, how much cocoa bean farmers get from $1 chocolate bars? I am interested. So $1, 50% apparently goes to retail and taxes, 50%, marketing, 11 cents, manufacturing, 23 cents, with grinder and processor, 7 cents. Transport two cent, local taxes and buyers four cent, and the farmer gets six cent, six point six cent. This is not that much. It is really not that much. Sign up to build charts like this. Oh, I just don't want to read that actually. <laughs> oh, it's it's the same thing again. Well, um, it is fucked up. Like it really is. This is also why one of the reasons why um, there's actually trivia. Uh, or is this just some, well, nevertheless, uh, what I want to say is that it is often the case that this is the case, you know, that, um, the farmers of certain products or certain, uh, vital parts of a product, they often do not get paid that correctly. And this is one of the reasons why fair trade is a pretty cool thing, even though I'm not always quite sure whether this is just, um, a real thing, whether, 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 yeah, you know, it's, it's, um, it is fucked up. And I don't know if I'm just negative in that sense. You know, the thing is, I'm, I'm actually always quite positive about whatever it might be. But in, in this sense, it is a little bit difficult. I don't actually know why. But yeah. In Rango 2011, actors actually performed just like in a live movie. And this was later referenced by animators in animating the film. Which I think, by the way, is a very, 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 very good idea because the thing is, um, it is so difficult, so, so, so difficult to show emotions and present emotions in a, in a good way and in a, in a way also then just believe in it. Because, of course, uh, you can do something, but whether people believe in it or not is then the bigger question. These chess pieces are fucking cool and they also make sense. It is actually pretty cool. And I also like the fact that you just paint the fucking table in a uh, check pattern thing. Instead of just having uh, a board. No, we don't do this. For the last three years, one of my friends has been working on his first game. It is a co-platformer 
where one player is in VR and the other is on PC. What do you think? This is an interesting concept. Feeding a toad as he passes through. <laughs> I, I do wonder why this thing is just not moving away. And now he's just getting a fly. <laughs> I don't know if it is fake, but it's pretty cool. Insane macro shot of a bubble. It actually looks like the wallpaper of iPhones. I think it is Mars or something. I'm actually not quite sure. But yeah, anyway. My cat keeps me, uh, keeps me company in the bathtub. Looks very comfortable. Not. Um, an 11 year old girl in Nova Scotia or Scotia, I don't know, uh, when told she couldn't swim in her local river, initiated testing of the river for fecal contaminants. After the samples tested above allowable limits, three levels of government committed 15 million to install 600 septic tanks along the river. That's fucked up. Video practice makes perfect. Yeah. Uh, the name is Bond. Uh, James Bond. And you? My name is Boops. Boops, Boops. And apparently it is a fish. <laughs> a fish that is called Boops, Boops. I also do wanna. Yeah. Oxford expert claims that COVID-19 vaccine gives off long-term immunity with antibodies three times higher than recovered patients. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. But I actually feel like that, and I'm very happy for that, that things are doing pretty well, even though numbers seem to go up again a little bit in certain areas. Uh, but I'm confident. I'm confident that everything is going to be fine and everything is going to be okay. And um, yes. Anyway, I think that I'm going to end the episode there. So I wish you the best health, wealth, happiness, and also success. And that, by the way, yes, I'm sorry. Um, and I I always hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy and basically means just being a nice person and then also being remembered as a nice person, which is a pretty fucking cool thing. Three other questions that I'm having for you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change and what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is hella nice. Um, um, yes, another question that I'm having for you is, what could you particularly say that is really going to change somebody's life and that is going to um, really make somebody's life way better? What could you do? What could you say? What could you, what could you say? You know, because there's a lot of things that we all could say and there's a lot of things that we all could uh, communicate, but, um, but we don't do that often. We should play. We should do more of it. But yeah, with that being said, I wish you the best, and I'm hopefully gonna see you the next time. So bye bye.